Hello everyone, in today's video we will see how to create an Oracle 19c database on Docker. So let's get started. So first we will create the Docker image. I am using Ubuntu. I prepared this Docker file, you can have a look on it. So the image is based on Oracle Linux 7 Slim. It is provided by Oracle. We will install all required packages. After that we create this group, we install DBE Opera and we create the Oracle user. The choice of the ID the user ID and group ID is important just make sure that you have a user with the same ID on the host it facilitates the file sharing as I will show you later in the description you will find the link to this docker file so let's create the build docker tag so it is running now it will take some time The image has been created. Now let's go to the next step. After creating the Docker image, we will install the Oracle software. I loaded this zip file from Oracle homepage. It is the version 19.3. And before doing that, we will create a directory on the host with this name, with this pet. So as you see here, this is on the host and from here until here will be mapped to the home folder from the container and we and this one will be the Oracle home in our container. So let's create it and we will move this zip file to here. And now I want to show you some variable I defined on the home folder. Let's go here in the batch profile and you see this is the host name and the Oracle home. So as this one, this part is mapped to the previous directory we created and this is the SID and this is the most important one, display. I defined the IP of this Windows machine. I am using Mobile Extern. It has inbuilt an X server so it's enable UI forwarding through the SSH. So now let's create a container. I prepared a script for that. So this is my script, run Oracle. Let's have a look on it. So it run this image, Oracle Linux 7, with privileged flag. And this is the name of our container in detached mode. We mapped the ports here. We exposed this port and we defined these resources required by Oracle using the ulimit command and the import, the most important things is this volume mapping so as you see here this is the directory from the host is mapped to the home directory in the container uh, not only that the oracle home will be also on the home folder in the container this makes the things easier why we are doing that this enable this makes our container persistible so when we run the container again restart the container everything is contained under this directory so let's run the container yes has been created so we attach or we connect to this container we change to oracle and as you see everything is available here because the directory is mapped to the the one from the host let's go to here and the zip file is here so now let's extract this file extraction is done as you see now we can start with the installation so make sure that this variable is set to the windows host machine now let's run the installer so we can ignore this error yes and as you see now we can run the application is forwarded from this machine to our windows and as you see now set we have two options we will install first we will install the software only single instance enterprise edition and you see this information comes from from the profile we define it it will checks whether all required software are there so everything looks good we can ignore those warning here yes start with installation Thank you. 
the installation is almost done we are required to run these two scripts as root user so let's copy this one and open a new session we connect to our Oracle Linux and we run the first script yes the second one yes also done and we say ok and you see the software installation is done now using the dbce we will create a database let's run this command yes so we will create a database next global nail let's call it 19c we choose advanced configuration next oracle 19c playable yes or playable name oracle 19c next we will use omf to make things easier we, we don't need that no need to create we will use this option we will keep the configuration as suggested next we don't need that it is dev environment we choose this option yes create the database next is the summary finish we start now with the installation it will take some time so let's wait we can also follow the logs here under this file to see the progress So the database has been created we can use squirrel plus and as you see the database is up and running can issue this command yeah it is working so this was a demo how to create oracle 19c database using docker i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and bye